Alright, we're back with some Gray Fox. And, uh, so. Like last time we took off, we were at the bar, and now I'm actually gonna save, like I always at the beginning of all my videos, save. Wait, how long have I been playing this game now? About 44 minutes, and I probably haven't even gotten halfway through the game. This is a good game. Like, oh my goodness. This was worth the 19 cents. So if you guys are seeing the first step, like if you guys are watching my playthroughs and the game is still, like it goes on another sale, you need to get this game, guys. Like, oh my goodness. This game is awesome. I've never checked out the Gray Fox statue over here. The statue is very impressive. It stands to represent the legendary Gray Fox for which the town is named after. Some say the Gray Fox was a spear animal which guided the native ancestors of the village back in the early days of the settlers. Some say the Gray Fox is purely fictional. However, the, plague, the plaque simply reads Gray Fox. I cannot find these clues. <laughs> like, oh my god, my voice just cr Okay, shift is the sprint. This is gonna go much faster. Alright, so we need to like find someone like a chemist or something. He's too busy to talk to you. The pharmacist is too busy to uh -huh. yep, I'll be just the moment here's who's typing. Maybe this chick. Can I help you? No, I don't think so, really. Man is getting some prescriptions filled. You have been getting your prescriptions filled for like 20 minutes now. He is waiting for his prescription. What's this? He's a green. Not like that. Behind the chair is some health brochures. On the on one on breast breastfeeding, the second on smoke, and the and one on the importance of diabetes testing. It's a fire extinguisher. You're still. Oh my goodness. Jeez, these. Oh. The sign reads flu shot clinic today. Nah, I don't I don't like those. That old brat hit my bicep okay. That old brat struck my husband down. What about this house? I know I didn't check this out. The door is locked. I don't recognize any of these names. Hmm. I'm sure they'll I'll be here soon enough. Oh Ah That's messed up. Alright, let's talk to you. All their jewelry's junk. Hello, honey! Don't spend all your money in one place, but if you must, spend it here. Screw you. I think I'm gonna find that beer. Items. Like, that's automatically- That's all. that's actually automatically moving. Oh, cool. Looks like I got drunk or something. Disturbed. Look, lady, don't you go somewhere else? He's probably right. Oh, since they're custom made. They are talking in the middle they don't want to be disturbed. What would be in here? Maybe like the bathroom? There's like something hidden or something? It's a sink. No. It's all toilet paper. A good kind. There's a toilet. It's a razor. I didn't know she didn't I, I know she didn't cut him. Mysterious vial. Hmm. I bet the pharmacy could identify the contents. To the pharmacy we go! Alright, we're here. Alright. Can I help you? Yes. Yes, I have this vial of powder. Mysterious Okay, where did you get it? A chemist gave it to me. Let me speak with my colleague. One moment, please. Please take it back. This is a po this is poisotox. Not only is it illegal, but it's also very deadly. I could lose my license if inspector part this here. I love poisotox return. What? What about this chick? Man, I've been finding some good proof. It seems like maple poison. Alright. 
Okay, I need to think about this. Mabel had a lousy husband. Is that is that a good enough reason to poison him? Did she really have no other alternative? Huh, doubtful. Whoa! How did you get there? It doesn't matter. Give me the vial. Okay, by the way, I was yawning. Sorry about that. What vial? Vial of poison toxin move. Hey! She pours the powder into the teapot. She poisoned the tea. What should I do? Oh god, what should I do? I don't have the right to judge Mabel. So, did sh she did what she did, and nothing can change that now, but I won't kill her. Oh, you know, I should have saved, and then did that, and then go back to the other save, and then go do that. Dang it. I didn't know that was going to happen. You should take a look at yourself in the mirror. You look at yourself in the mirror. I'm still old. <laughs> yes, yes you are. Now how does it feel? I hate it. Yes, many people hate getting old. Usually these people are born with hate. They were destined to feel hate. They live and breathe it. I can't imagine living like that. You don't have to imagine it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why don't you see for yourself? What's going on? Shh. My little girl, reception is up, nope, that's not a little girl. Mr. Brown, your family is waiting for you in the piano room. I guess I'm Mr. Brown now. Okay, thank you. Yeah, my, you're chipper today. I wonder where I am. It has a lovely meal prepared, but it seems cold and untouched. It is full of old clothing and shoe boxes. Oh, who's this little girl? Oh, I'm really not in the mood today, old woman. Oh, go pick on someone else? I, pick on, I know you think I'm too lazy to walk, but I can't. I don't care what you think, cop. Just go away. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is turning into a dark turn. I am so, I did not mean to disturb that. Whoa, why are there spikes here? I can't get out. Maybe I should talk to the other residents. Brown. Oh, hello, handsome. Come to play? Uh, sure. Sure, what are we playing? I don't know. I get paid to look cute. There are cards on the table. Huh. Oh, Brown, I'm surprised to see you here. Maybe they can teach the, an old dog new tricks. Wait, are you seeing this glitch? <laughs> the cards turned to food! Oh my goodness. Hello, handsome. <laughs> Oh, wait, no. Okay, it looks like I can't. How's that the same uh, black guy? Not trying to be racist. It looks like the same black guy from part two and one. With, like, the grapes and all that. Let's talk to these. Speak of the devil. Oh, Mr. Brown. He, he, how long have you been standing there? I'll tell you the rest later, equal. Oh, okay, Norman. Norma. Norman. But I don't know. I didn't see his name clearly enough. Oh, um, uh, did you need this machine? They, uh, they look kind of like bread mat eaters. <laughs> uh, I don't know, did I? What the hell? The dryer smells mothball-y. The dryer smells is empty, but the lint trap is full. Laundry machine is empty. There are some poo-stained undies soaked in a water bucket. Jesus! The laundry machine is currently in use. Oh. Uh oh. Mr. Brown, I'm trying to bathe this elderly man. Oh. I'm not going to argue with you this time. You just have to wait. She doesn't need to yell. Okay. Oh my goodness, this game. This is awesome. I like this game. Hello, Father. Mary wants to talk to you. Right. Okay. Which one is Mary? Oh, and hello, Father. Mary is here to see you. Uh, okay, thank you. Hello, Grandpa. Mommy wants to talk to you. Okay, which one is your mommy? Hello, Father. Hello, dear. Dear, um, oh my. I'm sorry. What do I usually call you? Mary. Never marry. Stupid girl. Rocks for brains. Oh my. Forgive me, Father. I didn't mean that. Uh, uh, it's alright. Why is this, why is this 
daughter so timid? Why are you all you here? Have you forgotten? I asked if I could speak to you about the family finances. Family finances. Yeah, you're going to say no, but please just hear me out. Okay, go ahead. Wow, you're being oddly cooperative. Alright, we'll see. Jason is going to be starting college soon, but I know that Karen is getting in a similar portion from her inheritance. Um, what's wrong? I don't usually get this far without you stopping me. Anyways, if, anyways, I was thinking, if Jason could get in his inheritance early, well, then he could go to school, and when he's done, he can start playing it back. Paying it back. Okay. Wait. Pay it back? Why would you, why would he pay it back? What? Oh, I get it. I knew I shouldn't have come. You must think it, this is so funny. What? I, I don't understand. Just keep your money, you considering old man. Wow! My goodness, this game is dark! Play DVD, Sunset Love, Yuke Long Fireplace. Uh, let's see, Sing Boa? Yuke Long Fireplace. That's pretty cool. Take out the DVD and turn off the TV. No. What's this? Nope. Oh, I don't trust her. Trust who? The dark woman. Why not? She's a slave. <gasps> My goodness gracious, why? There are no slaves. What slave? Wait, was, what was I saying? You're racist. Racist? Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, no. I've never raced anyone in my life. Oh, my. I'm so sorry. Hi, Mr. B. Hello. See, everyone thinks you're just an old grump, but I know you're all right. Well, it's because he's being possessed. Go ahead, Brown. Say it. I have written authorization for my doctor since I need it for medical purposes. I can smoke it as I please. Oh, he's he's smoking marijuana. Okay. You can shove it in your rear. I, I, I don't want to go in there either. I don't know why I went in there. I thought that guy like, at least had like underpants on or something. What about you? Mr. Brown, please wait your turn. Better give him some privacy. Alright. Still can't? Okay. I don't think I visited. Oh, oh, hey, there's a lady down here. Whoa, 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 what? Time for bed, Mr. Brown. Ow. You think you're so tough? Think you can call people names? Everyone hates you. <coughs> Jesus, time to go to sleep. Is throbbing. It's a vase filled with flowers. Whoa! I, I'm so stiff. How symbolic. Oh, a dead skeleton. It's a plate of cold, rotten food with insects crawling in it. Ugh. Huh? What's happening? Mom, I want to be a lawyer when I grow up. I'm sorry, son, but we can't afford that. But this is my dream. I thought Grandpa had lots of money. You're right, son, but that money is his, not ours. I can't take it anymore. He is so rude. Mr. Brown is a selfish, ungrateful old man. What did he do this time? He yelled at me. I was changing his sheets, and he said, Get out of here, you smelly swine. Oh, my. I don't earn enough money to put up with him. first started going together, he was so charming. We didn't have much, but we were happy. Then he starts to become successful, and that's when things change. He grew cold, hard, everything was about business to him. I just hope he doesn't waste his life away from money. I hope he is thinking about our grandchildren. Isn't it ironic you said that you hated being old, but isn't it worse when everything around you hates you? I bet Mr. Brown doesn't even care, he is so bitter. He has quite a reputation, wouldn't you agree? We all have been Mr. Brown in our lives. Mysterious lady places a dagger on the table. Wouldn't the world be a lot pleasant with one less grumpy man? Oh! Oh, I don't know what to do! 
Would we kill the guy? I mean, I wouldn't blame him. He's he's greedy with power, but you wouldn't kill him. Uh, what if killing him kills me? I don't know. <laughs> All right, I just rapidly play stuff. So. He may be an old mister, uh, mean old grunt, but that doesn't mean he deserves to die. Very well then. Wait, I'm getting achievements. Hold up. I, I, I'm getting achievements, and I want to see like uh, on Steam, and I want to see why. Like, I didn't get them for the first lady, but now like after she died. But uh, goodness. there's 16 achievements. All right, you know, what, let's do it later. That's that was really unprofessional of me. You should take a look at me. Oh my God, am I still old? I'm still old. Yep. Yes, yes, you are. How does it feel? Yes, many people are okay with being old. Happy people can be fine. Happiness and their obesity. I guess so. I'm being sarcastic, of course. People who claim to be okay are just in denial. They are too lazy to do anything to make their quality of life better, so they lie to themselves. Would you really be okay with this? With what? Why don't you see for yourself what's going on? Shh. Again. I, like. <sighs> Alright, guys. That's it for this video, and so I don't have to save again. This, this, wow, this reeks. Jesus, it's cat lady. Save. Alright, guys, that's it for this, this is, uh, that's it for part four. Uh, up next, it'll be part five.